the latest controversy between these two important American women uh, has caught my attention, and uh, I have a view that I, I trust that uh, you will see. You know, uh, on CNN interview, or in a CNN interview with Larry King, uh, President Bush and Barbara, uh, First Lady Barbara Bush were asked, among the many questions, what do you think of Sarah Palin? And she started off politically correct by saying she's, and she's beautiful and this and that and whatever, but she should stay in um, in Alaska, which caused uh, Larry King to have <laughs> chuckle. This is a sort of insularity thing. You would stay up there. And, uh, you know, you'd ask yourself, why would an important uh, family lady like this say so? Well, subconsciously, um, her son, Jeb, is supposed to be the next president, you see. Uh, they're a presidential family. And so she thinks that if uh, Palin continues to run, it means that Jeb is going to be in jeopardy. Or Jebusite's son basically um, may not be as popular as um, Sarah Palin, so she, she's scared of that. And uh, if she stays in Alaska, then Jeb would have a, a easier run at the presidency, because there are a lot of people just waiting for Jeb. They're saying, oh, we're waiting for this this presidential family for Jeb. But um, I would caution uh, first lady, former First Lady uh, Barbara Bush to be careful how she's uh, recommending her family, because her husband started off this uh, romance with Middle East kind of conflicts. And, um, you know, uh, I'll leave that for another video. And then her son came on. He took it to the next level. I mean, he almost bankrupt the whole world in America. So that when Jeb comes on now, it's going to be the end of all things. The whole world is going to collapse, I believe. Because Americans uh, versus foreigners, we see things differently. And uh, many Americans think that uh, Jeb is going to be so great. He's better than all the rest. And he's so smart. When you see him doing interviews, he's look very presidential. But, you know, when you look at the family history, you don't know what the Bushes used to teach these kids. Um, maybe kill, 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 kill. I don't know if that was the motto in their home. But um, it's unfortunate that uh, we have a Bush on the horizon who perhaps going to become president. But I want to believe that um, everything is wrapping down in the world. Jesus is about to return. And I think if Jeb becomes president, I think within his term, Jesus is going to come because he's going to put the world... In fact, he might outdo the family. He might hold like three or four wars together. Um, he might start back Afghan and Iraq and then take on Iran and, you know, take on Yemen. He, he's, 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 he's on the roll, man. He will just he just flatten everything. As a matter of fact, if he comes on, I don't know if the markets in the world will collapse because I'm sure foreigners are scared of the Bush family. Um, but Palin... Um, she is equally dumb like Jeff, and um, she may not, she, she is a war hooty too, you know, bomb, bomb, bomb Iran, and um, so on. So that, um, I think both of them are bad news, but uh, hey, the um, majority of people are seeing them as stars and, and people who could take us to the next level, and they don't understand the next level might be the end of all things. So um, I say that Barbara is biased towards her son, and um, uh, I don't know why she would want a good conscience to recommend Jeb to the world and to America. I think that uh, she should take her family and go back to Texas and just, you know, just don't, just stay quiet because, you know, I mean, the world is watching and somebody can get a uh, subpoena up to, you know, um, board and lodging up in, up in uh, you know, The Hague, and I hope that, uh, you know, um, there's not enough time for that, but uh, watch it, Sister Bush.